UFO or something. Tell them to show you the preset. Come on, you got guys in the living room. Life is a hard home. Uh, Talk about his wife had this dream. Come on, tell, tell them to show you the preset. That's right. Lord is my commander in chief now. I don't want to hear nothing. That's right. From a dream your wife had. <laughs> I get lots of dreams, though. I ain't going to come out here and tell you what I think, man. It's okay. That's you okay. That's true, cook. Yeah. I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> Okay, I want to hear what the Lord said. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 6, right? Yeah. Keep therefore and do them. Start at, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's where you want? Yeah. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. Hey, better yet jump up one. Okay, come. This is uh, Deuteronomy 4, verse 5. Yeah, yeah. It says, Behold, I have I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my Yahweh commanded. And that's what we teach, man. Yep. Righteous statutes and righteous judgment. All right? No, not to curse people out. Come on. All right? That's the gospel of the Lord. Man. That's the gospel of the Lord right there. Go ahead and read that out. It says that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. So you're supposed to display uh, 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 righteous what? statutes and judgment. And you're supposed to display that. That's right. All right? That's a form of righteousness, man. Okay? Go ahead. Keep right. them for and do them. Go ahead. For this is your wisdom. See, wisdom. All right, see, you guys are dealing with wisdom. You go out with the person out uh, uh, standing in front of CNN building. And the Lord gonna send one of them death angels, man. I don't, I don't wish they don't know about it. I'm just saying, when you do that, the Lord tell you what's gonna happen. That's wisdom. It's, you come out here, you cussing out, you don't know what these people gonna do, man. You just supposed to feed them with knowledge, man. Yeah, that's what he said. That's it, man. That's what the Bible said. That's your personal feeling, because you mad that day. You don't teach the Bible then, you stay home. Why well, you gonna teach the Bible? You angry, you want your wife to make your man, your kids up. Don't teach the Bible then. Man, man, because you can't get women. Yeah. What well, because you ain't that's broke. It, that's what it is. Are you broke? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what it is, bro. You see, you, you see Esau talk? That, you know? Yeah, that's what it that's what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all angry, but the Lord say be angry but sin not. That's it, that's it. So it's alright to be angry, bro. That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm so angry it made me come out here. And speak the truth. That's it. The truth. You know? You know what I'm saying? You guys ain't speaking the truth. That's right, man. That's the point. You yeah. know, when you're a boxer, you know, the angry one gets the loose. You got to keep the head of me. You know? yeah. Shalom. Huh? It says, for what nation? No, Shalom. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of nations. That's why he say be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. That he could be All right? Oh. You see what I'm saying? That's, real hard. That's your wisdom, man. Yeah. All right? Go ahead. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Just like the lady just said. We and the nation we talk about is in today's time is referring to the elect. But of course, this was this was referred to all Israel. All right? But all Israel, like we say, to them. The all is referred to the elect, all right? That's right. Just like it was in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. It was given to all Israel. Yeah. Get that all back from 13 okay. It was given to all Israel, but only those who kept the faith, Joshua and Caleb, a small, like two, two people, man, made it. And how they, did they make it through the law, or did they make it through the promise and faith? Faith. That faith was counted as righteousness to the, to yeah. the Lord, the house, in the eyes of the house, the Caleb and Joshua. Come on. They faith when they went to see those Canaanites, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they kept the Lord's word, just like uh, Abraham did. Go ahead. Right. They weren't worshiping other idols. It says, who have ears to hear, let him hear. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, okay, yeah, that's it. 9 and 10. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 13. 13. Yeah, 13 and 9 and 10. Yeah. Verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And then to be a disciple, you have to be part of the them that believe. Alright, we're gonna keep dealing with that. That ain't referring to all Israel. So don't let these guys, these wicked shepherds trick you into joining a camp or a church or organization that you're not gonna keep the Lord's words. You're not part of the them. That's right. Alright? That's right. You're not part of the them. Okay, read what you got. He answered and said unto them. And to them. To who? Them, to them that believe. That's right. 
What? Uh, what did he say? Because it is given unto you. See, it's given unto them that believe. Go ahead. To know the mystery. To what? To know the mystery. So that's all it's given to, man. It's not given to everybody, man. <laughs> That's the Israel of God, man. He didn't give it to the scribes and Pharisees. No, he didn't give it to the scribes and Pharisees. But they were Israelites. Israel but they were Israelites. <laughs> so, so this thing is deeper than just being an Israelite, man. So don't let them guys trick you, you uh, Latino, Native Americans, and, and so-called African Americans. Don't let these guys uh, deceive you guys just because you believe that you're an Israelite. You're good. No, no. It's deeper than that, man. They play with your anger and your emotion. That's what they do. That's what they do. We, we showing you, like I said once again, the purest form of Bible teaching. Why? Because we keep the word. That's it. So that makes this the purest form of Bible teaching that you gonna get. All right. Yeah. We ain't on some radio station rambling along. You know, dealing with people' personal problems. No. We not set up for that, man. No. no. Let's see. Let's show them what we set up for, huh? Come. Oh, we'll finish reading that one okay, first. Come. It says, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But to them, it is not given. And that's what we realized. Mm -hmm. You GMS, you want to wear zombies, held to heart. It wasn't given to you to know the mysteries. That, absolutely. That's why you're teaching the so-called white man duck. Absolutely. All right? That's why your teachings is not uh, uh, the purest form of Bible teaching. No. Even though you claim to have 100% truth. Which is not. All right, that's why you block us from the comment board, man. Absolutely. And y'all basically shut us out the temple. Sakari got us blocked. Yeah. All the uh, elders at GMS got us blocked. Mm -hmm. All right. We even got these uh, cool Christians running, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Blocking us. Yeah, blocking us. Uh, Jesse, what? What is his name? Jesse Lee Peterson. Jesse Lee Peterson. He blocking us. He blocking us. Man. He, he scattered his word. It's, it's truth, true. man. That's crazy. We bringing out, we, this is the purest form of Bible teaching that you gonna get, bro. Because we don't teach you anger, man. You see, we don't teach you anger, you got your right mind. Before we, uh, let's go back to the Psalms 12. Okay. And I'm gonna show you why I say this is the purest form of Bible teaching you gonna get so, on this earth. Psalms 12? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Psalms um, 12. 12, okay. 12. It's, it's, okay. It's just gonna give this brother an example why I just made that statement. This is right. Psalms 12, verse 6. Yep. It says, The words of the Lord are pure. That's why right. we keep every word that's written in the Bible. All right? We don't mix it with religion. We don't mix it with anger, no. like this brother was just bringing out. All right? We don't mix it with our opinion or our feelings. All right? Why? Because it's pure. And that makes this the purest form of teaching. All right? Religion, religion is not the purest of the Lord's words, man. When they say, uh, God so loved everybody. That's that ain't what we've been reading all day. That's the spirit of blockage, man. That's a whole other. That's that's Kimmy. That's that's King Nimrod. That's not the Lord's word. That's it. That's paganism. When these guys tell you that Leviathan is talking about a fire breathing dragon, come on. That's not the Lord's word. That's Canaanite tradition, man. That's not us. When these guys tell you uh, Babylon is referring to America, that's, that's, that's not D. the Ford. Lord. That's Michael D. Ford. Come on, see. When these guys tell you that the fire in the brimstone is referring to nuclear missiles, mm. that's not the Lord's words, man. No, it's not. All right, read what you got. It says the words of the Lord are pure. Yep. As silver tried in a furnace, of earth purified seven times. All right. Thou shalt keep them, them, O Lord. See, and that's what we do. And that's why I say this is the purest form of Bible teaching you're going to get because we keep the Lord's words. All right? You don't say nothing that's outside the Bible. All right? When you come into the temple, don't bring the outside into the temple, bro. Into, in the temple is what? That rod, that reed that you measured up against. Them that believe in the Lord, that keep his words. Period. Go ahead. It says, thou shalt preserve them. So you preserve the Lord's words, man. You definitely don't mix it and made it with nothing. And the Lord commanded you to preserve them. So what? Well, how long to preserve the word? Said, let's see if it say like an hour. Okay, all right. Yeah, maybe, maybe 10 years. Maybe, yeah, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how long the Lord say to preserve his word. It says, thou shalt preserve them from this generation. So the generation who we who this was spoken to, to what? Uh, Forever. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Forever. So everything the Lord say is still okay. It's still Bible, man. Don't nothing change. That's right. Oh, uh, get that. Now the Bible 316. Well. Now the Bible 
Yeah. Alright, this is Malachi 3 and 16. Yeah. Then they that fear the Lord. Then them that fear the Lord. Uh, Alright? Everybody don't fear the Lord, man. A dude that worship uh, uh, Allah don't fear Yahweh, man. Or he wouldn't be uh, worshiping the Lord of God. Alright? If you are homosexual, you don't fear the Lord. Because it says, what up? It says, them that fear the Lord. Go ahead. Spake off. Go ahead. One to another. Yeah. And the Lord hearkened. Go ahead. And heard it. See, that's what the Lord listened to, bro. Them that fear him. You don't listen to everybody. Go ahead. And heard it. And a book of remembrance. And a what up? A book of remembrance. That's what the Bible for. That's what the Bible for. And that, that's for them that fear the Lord, man. All right? The Bible not for everybody. Who is the Lord? Who is the Lord? Uh, Yahweh. Who's written up in the Bible? The God of Israel. The Lord God of Israel. Who was the God before he created you? Because see what, what, what happened is typical. And I'm not trying to... No, it. that's cool. Uh, that's cool. Uh, but that's the curse. What, what? Diversity. Diversity is the gift. Difference is the curse. The God that created blacks is the same God that created whites. We ain't never said nothing about blacks, man. Huh? Jews, Gentiles, there is one creator of humanity, period. You You're right. You never said that. We so, said that. So the chosen people are those that are known by the priests that they are. That's showing what the chosen people are. Even even Yahshua. Even Yahshua said that the truth shall be known by the people. Not everyone that's all that took my word and put them together. Then he had the street. We're going to show you, brother. We really, that's why we can just tell we keep the Lord word. So we like to read what the Bible says. Because you're missing your shoe. Well, he, before the Bible was written. Before the Tanakh was written, before the Beatles was written, before any of the books was written. Because humans existed before well, the books were written. Hold on, let me just say this, sir. We ambassadors of the Lord God of Israel and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's who we are here to profess, his word. So if you, whatever you talk about, we don't, we ain't in time. No, the book of Jeremiah so said they made, they made my people forget my name. Exactly, that's, that's what we talk about. Okay, so do you know that Bible translated into English? It's Lord. It's Lord. Yeah. So we can't be worshiping the Lord see what has happened here. They have taken away God's name. The mm -hmm. Almighty Creator's name, they have taken his name away from the God's name is spoken. The thing this moved. is a different way to see what we do. But what, what, what did Joshua say? Jesus, he said, is hallowed it, be the name. Well, hallowed only name. means holy, sacred, consecrated, and revered. Isn't it a different name? The Lord. So then why are we it's the Lord. over names? It's just a title. When this is a title. Spirit, no one has ever seen said, that's why, why he said the, said the Lord God of worship. But, but he said the Lord God of worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. But you what does that say? Because see, you're doing a lot of talking. He say them that worship shall worship him in spirit, right? Let's get the spirit. He just brought out the spirit. I told you we're ambassadors of Lord God of Israel and his only begotten son. Six and six John. That's how we speak, man. Please let me allow to ask you a Six and six and John. I don't, I let the Bible talk. Let the Lord talk. I'm not out here to defend myself. I'm going to be the Bible. But please let me bring out the Bible. That's the point. John 6 and 63. You said the spirit. Go ahead. It is the spirit that quickened. You right, brother. The flesh profit. You right, brother. Go ahead. The so flesh profit nothing. Read. The words. The what, brother? The words. The what, brother? The words. The words that what? That I speak unto you. My spirit. They are the spirit and, and they are the light. That's how you worship the, the Lord, by keeping his words, man. <laughs> you know, just know what he's saying. Like, the words exist so before say, the Bible was written. It's what I'm saying. It's because humans live. There's no proof that humans live. There's no proof that humans live. There's no proof that humans live. In 26. 26. Right there. John 14, 26. The Bible wasn't even written when Jesus lived. He's going to show you something, bro. It was oral, bro. It was oral. No, it's our conversation is oral. But that, does that mean that people like you and me didn't exist before? Hold on, brother. Just you're you're making a lot of statements. Yes. He makes so many statements and then he don't want the Lord to speak. <laughs> he so I just he speaks me. through you and me. He's not a dead God. He's living. He's the alive. Bible, the Bible well, see, you want to talk, man. The see, this one of these philosophers, man. The Bible, the, 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 the we're dealing with knowledge, man. brother. Let's, let's go back and forth. So we showed you what the Spirit... He's going to get to you. 
Then you make your point. Now you, we showed you what the spirit was according to the Bible. The sure who you uh uh what up. Now we gonna show you this. Go ahead. John 14 verse 26. But the comforter, but the what? But the comforter, which is the spirit, which is the word, which, uh, go ahead. which is the Holy Ghost, which is the Bible, whom the Father will send. We just showed you what the Holy Spirit was. <laughs> That's the word, Holy Ghost, same thing. Read what, question, read, read, read what you got. Read what you got. Read what you got. Read what you got. In my name, he gonna he's, send the comforter, these words that's written in the Bible, and he gonna send them in the name of Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, and what? Shall teach you all things. And that's what we're gonna learn all things from, sir. Okay, from what's written in the Bible, not from what our own vain opinions. Go ahead. And bring all things to your remembrance. And that's that book of remembrance in Malachi that was written for them that feared the Lord. Now, if you don't fear the Lord, this book ain't for you. That's all we say. But then Christ said it don't matter what name you we talking about the word of the Lord, keeping the word. You talking about the name? But you just said His name. You said you said in my name, Yahshua. You put emphasis on that. Yeah, He said it in the name of Yahshua. Okay, so now the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the word. What Yahshua said, that word. What Yahshua said, and that word there is. It doesn't matter what name you do it in because the word comes through the people. Because the God word come that, through what's written. God said, look, God said, the people, said, the people, the people, the people that the people in that John 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. He's conveyed to you. Wait, brother. Let's do one thing at a time. Let's see. When Let the words come name, through you or through the Bible. Let's you see. You say in my name, it's not going to pass. You do it in the name of America. You do it in the name of the Lord. That's all it is. We're not talking about a real name. It's poetry. It's a poetry. Read what you got. 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 Or the name of, of, of someone that just does good. Oh, well, I'm good then you will receive your reward. Now, why is that? Hold now, on, stop right now, there. You're saying too much. No, I'm not saying it. Hold saying on, much. stop. I'm, Please I'm, stop. I'm, I'm That's all who the righteous man. Ephesians 2 and 22. Okay. You know, we're going to show who the righteous man, who the Lord that, talking about. You just said that. Be, that's, let us read the Bible, brother. Ephesians 2 and 20. Ephesians 2 and 20. To whatever suit. Come on with it, all. Right. Come on with it, up. Exactly Please read it. We're going to show you the righteous man and the prophet he's talking about. Yeah, Go ahead, up. Uh. It ain't you. It ain't me. Go ahead, up. Uh. Oh, oh, didn't it say that men of old were led by that same spirit? Read, up. Uh. Read what this. Saying? Read this, up. Uh. 2 and 20. 2 and 20. Yeah. yeah. And are built upon the foundation. This the foundation. Of the apostles. The apostles. And prophets. The prophets. Jesus Christ. And the Lord himself. So that's the prophets and the righteous men that the Lord will come to. You need to listen, bro, to the Lord. Brother, come listen to the Lord. Ain't no man come and telling me no X, Y, Z. Come on, brother. Hold on, go to Deuteronomy. No, we're not going to pull no scriptures for you, man. Book of Deuteronomy was talking about the Lord. It was a future prophecy talking about the Abishai. No, who said I'll tell you the word that was talking about. Hey, let's show the word. It was talking about a future prophecy. Isaiah said the same thing. Go read Isaiah 53. That's talking about the Lord. Isaiah 54, old scripture, is talking about Christ coming. Hey, let's read the oh, Bible, okay, man. Okay. We are here to read That's the Bible. Saying, right? We are here to have I got, a conversation. So you got your own philosophy. It's We're almost like your GOCC. Yes, it's I'm a different That's a philosophy. Absolutely. Let's let God talk. Let's let Bible talk. Yeah, 15-4. Let's let the Bible talk. Isaiah, you ain't gonna get nowhere with that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's all good though. We good now. Yeah. But you gotta ask questions and be and go back and forth. I wanna hear the Bible, man. I wanna hear you. Let's read that. Huh? The Lord, the Lord gonna make the Lord. Exactly, bro. Romans 15 and 4. That's an aggravating thing, bro. Who all, what's up with the uh, thing, man? See, the Lord trying to speak, and they take away the Lord's words, man. You're right, huh? When we got more so much Yeah, time, it's, it's low, uh, Shalak, y'all. You good? It's low, it's low. Yeah, 